Hi everyone, Tao here. One thing I missed a lot when I updated to One UI 2 was the log. Well, good news, because it's been updated, it's now compatible. Well, not all the apps, but most. Not having good log made me realize how much I relied on it on a daily basis. I mean, the visual changes and tweaks are cool, but it's really the added functionality that I miss. Right now, let's dive into what's new, as well as a few bugs that need to be ironed out. For those that switch between apps frequently, the return of Task Changer is a welcomed sight. I personally don't mind the default Android 10 app switcher layout, but I'll admit, it's not the most efficient use of space. The best reason to use Task Changer is how much easier it makes launching split screen or pop-up window. Instead of tapping the icon at the top, then selecting the option from the menu that appears, all you have to do is drag and drop the app window into position. Top and bottom for split screen and right in the middle for pop-up window. Although there isn't much new per se with Task Changer, just having the option to change the layout is great. Prefer the iPhone layout? Sure. Vertical scrolling because that's more comfy? <laughs> Here you go. Wanna see more of your apps at once? They got you covered there too. What is new are these icons that appear right above your thumb when you perform a gesture. To be honest, they look cool, but I don't know how necessary they are, and there's no way to turn them off at the moment. The bad news is that those fancy animations that came with One UI 2 are gone when you enable Task Changer. It defaults back to the less playful animations from One UI version 1. A tough trade-off if you've fallen in love with the newer animations, but I'm sure we'll see this fixed in the future. If you've tried to use certain apps like Instagram or Netflix in split screen or pop-up view, you've likely been disappointed because it says the app isn't compatible. Enter Multistar, which has a setting that forces apps to work in both modes. It can be unstable, but hey, at least you can multitask with most apps now. A knock on multi-window is that once you split your phone screen in half, it's harder to see content. Multistar has this screen zoom toggle that aims to help with this. When enabled, it'll essentially zoom out slightly so each app shows a little more info. Small tweak, but it's helpful. Another core function of Multistar is that it enables a swipe from either top corner to put any app into pop-up view. The update added a couple of extra toggles. You can now increase the gesture activation area for those of you who struggled with the gesture. Key pop-up view last used is supposed to remember the exact size and position of each app from when you last used it. Prevent pop-up minimization will stop the pop-up view from minimizing when you go home. This one's real helpful since it was annoying having pop-up apps shrink every time I wanted to switch out whatever I was doing in the background. Finally, if you still prefer to use a navigation bar, you now have the option to launch right into pop-up window with a press and hold of the recents key. It was always locked to split screen in the past. Moving on to Notistar. What Notistar aims to do is real simple. It allows you to view a history of each and every notification that hits your phone. So if you accidentally clear your notifications before checking them, or you want to refer back to one you received a few days ago, you can with Notistar. You can also set filters based on keywords or apps to quickly find things you look for frequently. The most notable update on Notistar is the addition of what they're calling a start icon on the lock screen. Simply swipe up on the start icon to access your notification history. They've also added the ability to customize the icon. Decide where you want it, what color, and how transparent it is. This is a nice addition, as in the past, you had to swipe up slightly above the fingerprint scanner, but with no visual cues, it didn't work as well. Quickstar is the fourth and final app that was updated for One UI 2. It allows you to completely customize how your quick settings or notification shade looks visually, with the added bonus of being able to declutter your status bar, removing things like the battery, mobile data signal, and Wi-Fi icons. You can also move the clock to the right or remove it for a completely empty status bar. Outside of some new styles for the default themes, 
There doesn't seem to be any major changes or features added to Quickstar though. It looks like Navstar and Logstar weren't ready and so didn't make the cut for this update. But props to the developers that worked so hard to get this update out to us. Do you need good luck? No, but should you at least try it? Most definitely. I'm a big fan. Despite some apps not being ready, lacking a little polish and a few bugs, I'm glad to have majority of the GoLog apps back on my Note 10 Plus. Anyways, if you've used it, what are your thoughts? Let me know below. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here. Bye!